As we've said here and we talked today, there's a lot of stores out there that are really looking at this one particular thing that they have all in common, that they all do the same, that they all have, that a lot of us hate. And as stores around the nation begin to rethink this one procedure, well, maybe it has finally come to pass because they have finally realized that since The whole self-checkout procedure has started. Wow, we're losing money. It's walking right out the door. Well, it's amazing how these people sit back all of a sudden now, and they're looking at everything, and they say to themselves, you know, ever since we put these self-checkout counters in, our theft and our shrinkage has gone through the roof. In some areas up to 16 times what the daily loss is in a regular store with no self-checkouts with a cashier at a register. So these people are just sitting here and they're wondering what is going on, right? I mean, it's amazing how they can be so rich and profitable, but so dumb and stupid in the same token. Why is it that all of a sudden now, Didn't a light bulb go on somewhere before all this really started taking shape? Oh, this will be a great thing for us to put in and do. Well, you know, the customer is going to love this. And yes, there's probably people out there that do love this. But for the majority of us, we hate it. Unless you're buying like one or two items, I can only see that's the reason why it's any good. Most of the time, you don't have any room to uh, load up a belt. Uh, some stores have those others don't. And so you're sitting here and you're trying to check out, you know, your whole shopping experience and there's no place to put the stuff. Some of the big Walmarts do have the belts so you can load them up, scan it, bag it, put it back in your cart, pay and be on your merry way. Well, what a lot of people are doing nowadays is they turn around And they have fake barcodes that they put on their wrists or hands or whatever else. They make it look like they scan the item. Boom, they're paying for something that's like $2. And the item that they're trying to buy is, you know, 80, 90 bucks or more. And they pay, they walk out. (laughs) You know, I really do believe, and you all can put in the comments below what you think, but I think that they should just do away with those altogether. Now, Walmart is blaming the concept for an uptick in their theft and considerable losses of inventory on their self-checkout procedures. And in three states, they have already started pulling these machines out and putting back in regular cashiers. Yeah, remember those where you walk up, you put your stuff on the belt, they scan it, they beg it, you put it in the cart, you pay and you walk out the door the way it should be. But in um, a couple of different states, in Massachusetts and in Maine and New Mexico, those machines are going the way of the dodo bird, where they belong, in my opinion. Now, yes, if you have two items and you want to go up and do a self-checkout, perfectly fine. Maybe they should just make those for like, you know, 10 items or less. And you can go in, you pay, and then you're out the door. And everybody else, you know, Hire some cashiers and put them to work. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's nobody to hire. Comment what you think. Could that be one of the problems? Why all these different stores from Walmart to Target, all the major grocery stores and everything else, they all have these self-checkout lanes, but now they're setting back and rethinking this. I find it very hard to believe that once again, All these stores never thought there would be a problem with theft. Everybody is going to be honest when they walk up to the cash register. Hello? It doesn't work that way. Not in this day and age. Maybe 50 years ago, it would have been fine. Now, no, it's not going to work. And which is causing a lot of the things in these stores, if you haven't noticed, when you go to the store, especially Walmart, You know, you go to certain areas, everything is unlock and key now. 
If you want to get a certain product or anything else, you got to go find somebody that's got the key. Hence, another reason why it's just like, holy cow. And they want to know why so many people order online because they just don't want to deal with it anymore. You know, with Walmart, if you're a Walmart Plus, if you pay for that and you get your deliveries and everything else right from the store, I mean, you don't have to, you know, you're not the one that's in there having to find somebody and get a key or, or wait in the lines and, and all that other crap. The only problem is, is you don't always get what you want. So you got to pick your poison here. It's either in this day and age, we got to deal with all these ridiculous things that are going on. Things are under lock and key. You know, there's hardly ever anybody in a register that is open. Most of the time, it's maybe maybe one, maybe two registers are open and everything else is self-checkout. But yet they're going to sit back and they're complaining because the theft is up or the shrinkage is up, up to certain areas in this country, 16 times the normal daily allotted shrinkage. And they want to say, oh, well, now we got to pull this out. So is this what's going to happen? Are they going to pull all these out, put the registers back in? But, oh, now we got to charge you more because we had to put a person up there and to check you out. I wouldn't be surprised. Would you? Comment below. So what is all your feelings about all these um, self-checkout procedures and lanes? Should they go bye-bye? Should they stay with maybe limited amount 10 items or less comment below but this is where we're headed back to the good old days at least until ai takes over and then it'll be a computer checking it out and well you may not want to mess with the computer because the lord knows what it's going to be able to do in the future so what is your opinion on this whole matter comment below so until next time folks you all stay safe. You keep prepping. And remember, these self-checkouts could be on their way out. Or could they not? They got to figure out a way to stop the stealing, the theft, and the shrinkage. Because it's killing a lot of these companies. Is it really worth the money that they dumped into these things? I don't think so. But evidently, they did. Maybe it was just so maybe they could get money from the government's to you know because they're trying to enhance their technology one will find out won't we so y'all stay safe keep prepping till next time i'll catch all of you on the flip side <laughs>